Mickey's Kangaroo is really peculiar. Enjoyable, but peculiar. This is a Disney film, Disney cartoon, from 1935, directed by David Hand. And this is actually the last black and white Mickey Mouse cartoon. So for that reason, it's kind of special. There are a few things in this that also make it kind of special. Mickey gets a delivery one day and it's a kangaroo and also a joy. And this kangaroo has boxing gloves. And the first thing this kangaroo does is go inside Pluto's brand new doghouse. And straight away, Pluto is not happy. And this is not an uncommon theme for a Mickey Mouse cartoon. There are quite a few where Mickey gets a, a new pet or an animal comes to stay and Pluto feels put out. And it's basically a feud between that animal and Pluto but this is a kangaroo with boxing gloves. Who's going to win that fight? Mickey obviously seems oblivious to what's going on. And that in itself is interesting. The narrative's developed really well. It's fascinating to watch. It's relatively predictable, at least in terms of the narrative. But there are a few things I hadn't predicted. And the first is that the kangaroo has a, a, a head that is kind of Mickey Mouse-esque. It's got the same kind of hairline as Mickey Mouse. It's got ears that are kind of like stretched versions of Mickey's ears and a really pointy nose with a little black tip. Very kind of like Mickey at the time. In fact, the, the Joey looks even more like a Mickey Mouse head because it's slightly rounder and not as pointed. It's the weirdest looking kangaroo I've ever seen. Absolutely. It's not that it doesn't work. It's just that it's really weird. But also Pluto talks. Well, we get to hear his internal monologue and I don't know if that's ever happened before. Usually we'll get the angel and the devil if we want to hear kind of Pluto's conflicting thoughts. But this one, it just, it, it felt weird and I didn't like it. Because it's not something that happens often, if ever. I didn't mind it too much. I thought, all right, it's just a one-time thing. I can deal with it. But I'm pleased that this is not something we get with Pluto all of the time because it was a little bit sinister. The voice acting was good, voiced uh, by John Brody. Pindle Colvig does Pluto's whimpers. Uh, and we have Walt Disney himself, of course, as Mickey Mouse. It is definitely a very peculiar cartoon and very special in various other ways. It's definitely worth watching. I really enjoyed it. I found it to be quite funny, probably for the wrong reasons, but it, w it was good fun. Definitely um, interesting enough, sustained my attention, and definitely felt quite peculiar. Mickey's Kangaroo is definitely worth checking out.